Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV. I am Paulami Sen, your host for today's talk show. So the task of introducing our guests in our show is a great privilege and I feel elated to introduce her to everyone. After all, she is a living inspiration to the young woman out there. She is none other than Miss Hikali Achumi, who was recently crowned Miss Nagaland 2022 and she is also the Silver Queen Miss Sumi 2022. Born and brought up in Kohima, she did her diploma and degree in civil engineering, acquiring the top positions in both, just a perfect example of the phrase beauty with brains. She is also an enthusiastic basketball player who has represented Jorhat district in the 35th Inter-District Basketball Championship 2021. So coupled with an impressive background, it is therefore not surprising that she came out as a victorious beauty queen. So we have with us Ms. Hikali Achumi. So, Hikali, I'm really pleased to welcome you here in Hornbill TV with us today. Thank you. And you look gorgeous today. Thank so, you. you must be feeling very proud after getting crowned as Ms. Nagaland. Yes, indeed. Very grateful. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Hikali, we would be starting with like, how do you exactly feel about you know, getting crowned as Miss Sumi first and mm -hmm. then Miss Nagaland. Mm -hmm. like, just back to back, you got two titles to yes. your, up your sleeve. So how do you feel about it? Well, I feel it's gratitude over gratitude. Mm -hmm. I feel so grateful. I'm so grateful to God, firstly, and my parents. Then the people around me, I am so grateful to them because much more than me being happy, they are much more happy than me. You know, seeing, looking at their faces, being more happy than me mm -hmm. and looking them, shedding their tears of joy for me because yes. of me. I am so grateful to them, really. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we came to know that you are a civil engineer, right? Uh -huh, you I did am. your degree in civil mm -hmm. engineering. Mm -hmm. So how was your journey from uh, being a civil engineer to... No, going to a beauty pageant and then winning it, of course. Mm -hmm. So how, how was your journey? Well, the journey was quite smooth, I should say. Mm -hmm. If uh, they would uh, phrase, if they would phrase a journey, a perfect journey, I would say this would be it. Because right after my examination, mm -hmm. right after my examination in civil engineering, BTEC, I participated in Miss Sumi okay. and won okay. and after that um, I just got my results okay. results after I won Miss Sumi mm -hmm. and I came to know that I uh, topped in my okay. university as well okay. in civil That's engineering good. department mm -hmm. and then I participated in Miss Naglen where I won again so it was just you know victory over victory so thankful mm -hmm. it has been so smooth really Okay, that's great to hear. Yeah. So, uh, Hikali, when we like when we come to know, like you will be working for the Naga Society. You are mm -hmm. working for the Naga Society. Yes. So, after winning the crown of Miss Sumi, 2022, and now that you are crowned Miss Nagaland, what more works or projects are you working on so that you know we can know what you are really going to do in future for the Naga Society? Could you please elaborate on it? All right, uh, so right after I was crowned as Misumi, I started working on environmental issues, environmental okay. site, okay. because from when I was very little, mm -hmm. I have this concern for the environmental. Okay. So um, me and my friends, mm -hmm. first runner up and second runners up of Misumi, that is Linovi and Niloli, okay. we three started working for this environmental site, on the environmental site. Um, basing on three main objectives okay. as beautification, mm -hmm. sanitation mm -hmm. and recycling. Okay. We have started working on these three projects on environmental side and basing on that I am also the ambassador of JGM mm -hmm. that is Jal Jivan Mission okay, okay, great. in Zinaboto yeah. district. Okay. So um, being an ambassador of JGM again mm -hmm. we are working on you know Hargar Jal Mission mm -hmm. that where we have declared 35 villages as Hargar Jal okay. and then um, some more villages are ongoing and some are yet to uh, declare as well. Okay. So these are a few works that I have done and in the progress as well. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many projects coming up, so we are working on it. And now that I have crowned as Miss Naglin, mm -hmm. there are many more projects which I want to 
touch. Okay. So uh, basing on which I want to um, talk about menstrual hygiene mm -hmm. for women. Okay. Yes, and then there is one campaign. Okay. Drug Free India, uh -huh. hashtag Drug yes, Free yes, India, yes. which I participated last year uh, in a selfie competition mm -hmm. and I won. So I haven't forgotten about that. I want to work on the substance abuse in drug okay. abuse as well because, you know, we all know there in the corners of every district, mm -hmm. these issues has been going on in some families. Mm -hmm. So I want to work on the drug abuse, substance abuse as well. Okay. And... Um, our friend, my friend, mm -hmm. first runner-up and second runner-up of Miss Snuggling, they also have their own thoughts. Okay. So I am looking forward to work together with them. Yeah. Okay. So coming back to you, mm -hmm. uh, what do you like the most about yourself or what makes you stand out in front of other, other people? Okay. So, well, you know, it's... Um, basic thing we all mm -hmm. have to love ourselves first right because the moment you love yourself mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to be anybody else yes, so we should all love as ourselves mm -hmm. without sounding mm -hmm. cliche <laughs> yeah so exactly. anyways the most thing that i would love myself mm -hmm. would be uh, me fearing god because the reason that i am here today in a successful position mm -hmm. is all because of my faith and the faith of my people, the people around me, to cut that I am here today. Mm -hmm. So, um, with zero regrets, mm -hmm. I would say yeah. that is the most thing that I love myself. Okay, yeah. you love yourself. That's a great mm -hmm. thing, actually. We all should love ourselves first. Exactly. Okay, so uh, please tell us something about like how do you juggle all of those skills that you have? You play basketball, mm -hmm. okay, you are a topper, you're, mm -hmm. a, you're great academically and then now that you have won a beauty pageant, not one, two, then you're gearing up for more, I assume. Mm -hmm. So how do you juggle in between those skills? How do you keep up with them? Okay. Well, I am a good multitasker, I should okay. say. Yeah, <laughs> multitasking is not a you know, big issue for me. So mm -hmm. time management is very important. Yes, yes. You know, we should know uh, what to do being a youth. You know, we can enjoy our lives. We can, I do play basketball every evening okay, in my university, great. yeah, with my friends. So we do enjoy, but at the same time, there's a time for everything. Mm -hmm. So when exam time comes, we should, you know, study as mm -hmm. a youth, as a student. Yes, exactly. So time management is very important, yeah. Time I would management say. That's, that's a great answer, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, since you're very strong academically, like you have been a topper and you have done your civil engineering, mm -hmm. how did you get through that drastic change in your career? Like, how did you get through with it? How did you deal, deal with the change of going from being a civil engineer, a topper mm -hmm. civil engineer, to mm -hmm. you know, becoming Miss Nagaland okay. 2022? Yeah. All right, so, well, fashion, be in this beauty industry, I have been... Um, interested in it from very young. Okay. Yeah, because um, after my class 10th mm -hmm. matriculation, I joined Diploma. Okay. And during the year of 2016, I started uh, working in fashion shows. Oh. That's where I started in the year 2016. Yes. So a little bit of interest was there from those times. Okay. So, um, well, coming in this beauty pageants. Well, my ultimate goal is still to become a successful engineer. Okay. So I am still working and I'm still um, striving for that. Okay. So Starting. you want to be an engineer? Exactly. At the end? Exactly. Okay, that's Together. great. Together. Okay. Yeah. And work for the society as well. Yes. Yeah, okay. When we think about like you have studied, completed your studies from Guwahati. Am I right? And Guwahati falls under the northeastern region of India. Yes, I completed in Jorhat. Okay, in Jorhat, yes. Kaziranga University, yes, Jorhat. Yes. Okay. So, uh, since you have been in Assam for quite a long time, mm -hmm. and Nagaland, of course, mm -hmm. so do you think you would have been this comfortable, like when it comes to your safety, women's safety? Mm -hmm. Do you think you would have been this comfortable if you were outside, like uh, mainland India? Okay. So can you give me a sm short comparison according to you? Mm -hmm. How would you feel? Okay, so, well, it actually depends on us. Mm -hmm. So uh, we should be brave 
Firstly, mentally. Okay. And secondly, I would say we all know that Nagaland is one of the most safest places for women. Yeah. So, um, of course, we do feel safe. It's like a home. Mm -hmm. But um, at the same time, when I was studying in Kaziranga University, it's a university, it li it's like a home as well, my second home. Because, you know, me and my friends, we were all so good together. Mm -hmm. My friends, my roommates, they were from Shillong, Meghalaya. So okay. all the different people so coming together. We're like, we are like just brothers and sisters. So okay. there's nothing to feel unsafe about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, there has been a long standing debate in this profession, like the beauty pageant industry. Mm -hmm. That says that uh, beauty pageant industry, it objectifies women. Okay, so mm -hmm. what, what would be your say in it? How, how do you think that people think that you know, women are getting objectified when it comes to the beauty pageant industry. When we already know that even men mm -hmm. have their own pageants, right? So why does this question only come when it comes to a woman? So what would be your say? Good question. Thank you for the question. Well, indeed, there are so many people mm -hmm. who, um, you know, have a negative perception about beauty pageants. Mm -hmm. They think that it is just about objectifying exactly. a woman. Only. Yeah, but it is not just about objectifying a woman it is much more than that mm -hmm. well you know even here in our in Nag miss nagland pageant during the talent show i um, did my spoken word poetry regarding this okay. pageant as well mm -hmm. so yeah it is much more than that i would say because is it just about objectifying a woman like is it just about me standing here mm -hmm. looking beautiful beautiful exactly absolutely not right yeah, exactly. yeah it's much more than that it's about your confidence mm -hmm. your voice your mm -hmm. ideology mm -hmm. your personality mm -hmm. and even more like are you courage enough to be able to bring the difference in the society okay. for good yes i am and that's the reason yes. yeah and then we the women in pageant industry in this beauty pageant industry I feel that I think the pageant industry is thriving. They thriving, are giving yes. birth. Mm -hmm. They are giving birth to a number of women who defines pageantry, the power of this pageantry exactly. in a whole new level. Mm -hmm. mm, even in Naglin, we I can mention some like okay. Rofuzano, yes, yes. Vikono, mm -hmm. and Zuchobini, and mm -hmm. lots more. Yes. You know, they have done so much for the society, and indeed in return they are doing so much good in their lives as well exactly so uh, yes like indeed there are some room for impro improvement always yes. so but you know one step at a time so um, I believe in this pageant not I am the one who is holding the crown right now but all these participants all the participants contestants that we have contested we have been grooming from day one mm -hmm. from december one till december nine so all these days we have been taught how to be kind how okay. to be gracious okay. how to be a woman the real woman so i think that it is time that the people should really know what pageantry is about mm -hmm. because it is much more than just objectifying a woman exactly that that's a great answer i think uh, all the women should understand this all the people should understand this that objectifying a woman just because that woman is a part of beauty pageant mm -hmm. is not right they exactly. should change their thinking mm -hmm. so uh, i wanted to ask you what motivated you or what inspired you to you know contest for this uh, beauty pageant like miss nagaland miss sumi first you uh, you were crowned Miss Sumi, so mm -hmm. I want to ask you, like, what motivated you the most to participate in this, and how did you, you know, how d how is it still helping you, your motivation to gear up for, you know, much bigger platforms that mm -hmm. you will be on after mm -hmm. this? All right. So, likewise, mm -hmm. the personalities which I have shared before, mm -hmm. those former beauty pageants, mm -hmm. they are my role model. And I have learned a lot from there. Um, ever since I participated in Miss Sumi, okay. during the grooming days, mm -hmm. I learned how really beauty pageants are, so, or how really the queen should be. So, ever since I participated in Miss Sumi, my love and concern for the people has become indescribable. Okay. 
and I really wanted to work more mm -hmm. for the society okay. and that's how I knew that Miss Nagaland will give me a greater platform mm -hmm. to surpass on my limitation mm -hmm. and do much more than I can ever imagine so those are the things which motivated me and looking forward to work more for the society yeah. okay so and uh, do you have any particular role model of yours that you would want to mention well indeed there are so many role models in so many personalities which i have motivated got mm -hmm. motivated a lot mm -hmm. but above which mm -hmm. i would like to read my parents okay yeah as the first role model for me that's great so uh Kali, you play basketball right so yes i do just a simple question who would be your favorite basketball player my favorite mm -hmm. stephen curry because okay. he is a legend i would yes. say yeah. yeah true he's really a legend mm -hmm. so uh, along the way when you were like you know changing shifting your career from like being an academician to coming into this beauty pageant industry while you were changing this mm -hmm. so what were the challenges that you went through mm -hmm. because I know sometimes from the family side also there might be some challenges right so be it family be it your relatives be it anything so what kind of challenges did you come through okay well my parents were very supportive to me okay yeah they That's were great. supportive and likewise we mentioned before about objectifying a mm -hmm. woman it's the society that they think like that so I wanted to make sure to change their perspective of seeing a beauty pageant and that's how I wanted to be an example I have mentioned it in my interviews or in my final answer as well okay. uh, regarding me uh -huh, uh -huh. wanting to be an example of an upright woman uh -huh. wanting to change the perspective of how people see a beauty pageant of beauty queens yes. so yeah I that those were the things some few things which i really wanted to do and regarding the challenges if you may say i would talk about the speaking skills as well okay yeah it's very easy to speak with each other mm -hmm. like this but um you know public speaking and speaking professionally with exactly. the people it takes it's a lo lot more yes, it level, takes yeah. hard work actually exactly yeah so i actually started working during my final year okay. in Gohati as a business development executive mm -hmm. so where i was a counseling a counseling for the students i gave counseling to some few students so that's how i have you know improved a lot in my interpersonal and intrapersonal communication skills as okay. well so those helped me also. okay so those were the skills that uh, you picked from when you were working as a business development executive yes I correct I, yes okay great so uh, hikali another question would be uh, when it comes to beauty pageantry mm -hmm. so do you think the beauty pageant industry is uh, lagging behind in northeast as compared to the rest of india like the west especially mm -hmm. when we come to, uh, when we think of mumbai mm -hmm. when we look towards bangalore mm -hmm. so the pageants there are quite different on a different level so do you think it is still lagging behind in the northeast or how do you think can we overcome this okay well with the word lagging behind mm -hmm. i will i don't think that is the correct word for okay. uh, me if i have to put mm -hmm. talk about the beauty pageant industry in nagaland okay because i feel that the beauty pageant industry in nagaland is thriving okay. and you know likewise i have said before that we are no, they are giving birth to the number of students, mm -hmm. a number of women, I would mm -hmm. say. Not only that, but the women working in industry or working in pageant or being in a pageant, they are uh, paving their way, navigating on how, learning how to navigate their lives mm -hmm. and become independent or do much more good in their lives themselves. So, yeah, I, feel, I think that, you know, the beauty pageant is not lagging behind, but mm -hmm thriving we are you know doing much more on how we can do and i know that there are room for improvements mm -hmm. but one step so at what do time, you so. think is like a basic room for improvement if you would have to choose just one place okay so 
I would say that the beauty pageant, they should focus more mm -hmm. on the Beauty with a Purpose project as well. Okay, beauty with because, purpose. Yeah, because a woman or a queen, they are the face of the Naglin now, the face mm -hmm. of the state and the face of the people as mm -hmm. well. So there are so many qualities in them which they want to. Mm -hmm. So I would love to see them more focusing on the projects. Okay, that's great. So, Hikali, uh, last but not least, All right. uh, could you please just say a few words of advice to our young viewers mm -hmm. who are striving to get better at be it in their academics, be it in the beauty, be it if they want to get into a beauty pageant industry. Mm. Okay, so could you please give them a few advice and also tell them how to inculcate the habits of being an all-rounder like <laughs> you are so my advice will be firstly be humble love yourself because if you do not love yourself whom will you expect to let others love you right so and last but not the least just just be yourself yeah just be yourself you don't have to be anybody else but be yourself mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. This was a very fruitful conversation with you and we are pleased to have you here with us on Hornbill TV today. So with this, we have come to the end of our talk show with Miss Hikali Achumi, Miss Nagaland 2022. Thank you so much for watching Hornbill TV.